Oh, oh watch out for that wolf! Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another Forza Horizon 2 build, man. And this one, we've got another request build from Mr. Local Exotic Stands. He wants to see a maxed out RX7 with the stock 13B motor and max out everything else. So, that sounds like a great suggestion, my friend. So, what we're hey going to do is jump up into the auto show section of the game and buy up that Mazda RX-7. Now, I did do hey, a thing? build on my channel with the Mazda RX-7. I believe it was a Rob Dom build um, where I put a four-rotor inside of the RX-7. But what I'm going to do for this one, uh, as requested, is just stick with the stock 13B motor and uh, just soup it up as much as I possibly can uh, to upgrade the handling and all of that stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do first and foremost is select the color. Uh, now there is a couple of cool designs here, but I'm not really going to mess around with any of those, although I do like that. Um, but what I do want to do, because if I had an RX-7, because these look so much like the Vipers, I want to put on either a nice red color or maybe a blue color, uh, just to kind of replicate that. So let's see here. Uh, I think we're going to go with red. I'm not really feeling the, uh, the blue on here. Let's see if we can find a red that's a little bit sharper than that stock color. Come on, man. Give us a better camera angle than this, you mofo. Uh, yeah, that's looking about right right there. So what we're going to do is buy this car up and uh, jump right into this, man. So I just want to say thank you all for tuning in. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this from myself. Uh, we're putting out you know, as many videos as we can on the regular with this channel. So, um, yeah, and if you guys are repeat offenders, right, so are as usual, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and, uh, well, you guys already know what's up. So, first and foremost, we are going to jump up in here, and as you guys know, I like to work my way from the right over to the left just so we can get all of our conversions done and out of the way now engine swaps we are going to leave the 13b but we're just going to check out a couple of our other options the 6.2 liter v8 and there's the four rotor that we put in our other rx7 build if you want to check that out just uh, go back to the channel and uh you know it should be down in one of the playlists obviously drivetrain swap um we're gonna leave this rear wheel drive because i do plan on drifting this once it's done and aspiration conversion stock twin turbo or that single turbo as you can see a little bit of boost lag with the single turbo but it kicks in uh but we're gonna leave the stock twin turbo on here man and next up we are gonna back it on up now he did say that he didn't want me to get too uh, ricey with the cosmetic mod, so we're just going to go in here and see if we can find something. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that is definitely ricey. Uh, we're going to find something a little bit subtle for this Mazda. Now, I'm thinking... Damn. Everything is looking kind of ricey, so what I'm thinking is we're going to leave the stock bumper and just have on that Forza race front splitter on there. Uh, that should clean everything up here. Obviously, we're going to see, uh, man, that is a little too racy. We're not going to touch that spoiler. Let's see our options for the rear bumper. Uh, you know what? In the sake of not being rice, we are going to leave the stock rear bumper on there. And I'm thinking the side skirts are going to be the same. And let's see our options for the hoods. I like, kind of like those fish gills, but I'm going to go with the open cutouts here. Uh, just to give it a nice sleek look so let's back it on up and check out our options for wheels now obviously i said i was going to drift it but i think this is going to have enough power by the time we're done maxing it out that we should have no problem drifting it on a race tire compound so i'm going to go ahead and throw those on there we are going to leave the tire with the uh stock just so we can get a little bit of uh you know we want grip but we also want it to be able to slide so we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, then we're going to add up some wheels let's check out our options for wheels now here's where i like to think these builds come together with a nice set of clean wheels 
And like I said, I do like these RX-7s, kind of replicate the Viper look. Uh, so we're going to see if we can find something that fits the bill for this one. Oh, I like those. Let's see what else we got up in here. Uh, you know what? To be honest, I really don't like any of the sport rim styles. I like either the multi-piece or the, what are these ones? Or the specialized rims. We're going to check out the multi-piece. Let's see if we got something in here that is going to be good for our RX-7. Now, way too much tire on this car. We are definitely going to have to big up that, those rim sizes. Ooh, we. Those are looking pretty slick, but let's keep on looking here. Uh, I like that with a little bit of gold insert. I'm thinking that's going to be the one there. And obviously, those wheels, uh, we're going to have to big up those wheels a little bit. So let's see, a 19-inch. Uh, let's go with an 18, just to not be too ricey. Uh, we're going to do the same for the back. Now let's back it on up here. And obviously, we are going to upgrade everything from this point out. So that means clutch transmission is going to go into race transmission because we don't want that rally transmission on here man and we are going to do the drive line and obviously that differential because we want both wheels spinning as we are drifting now to be honest i'm not really digging that front lip man that thing is fucking ridiculously big so i'm gonna go back and just take that off there, man, because that's that shit's just looking ugly. That's looking a lot cleaner. Um, definitely, definitely a lot cleaner for this build. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, then jump into the brake and suspension aspect of it. Now, obviously, we are going to put on those race brakes because we need to stop this thing. And then the race springs, which lowers that thing. So nice. Looking clean. And obviously, our anti-roll bars gonna have to upgrade those especially if we are gonna be drifting this bad boy now i don't plan on racing this car the other the other rx7 that i did the rob dom build actually got upgraded where i um i put it all wheel drive and i maxed it out to be a drag car so that one does not get drifted at all so what we're gonna do with this one is pretty much keep it so that the it's the driftability is to the max now i don't know if driftability is a word um probably not but hey man you know we're here we're, we're educating man so you you know you guys learn something new every day and uh obviously upgrading everything from this point out since it will be a maxed out build on that what do we say b13 i believe it was the b13 oh man all the way into s2 no problem now the other one was maxed out s2 i believe 998 and that was with the four rotor and everything maxed out so this one should be a little less than that i am going to assume and let's see here looking good and obviously that flywheel so now that we got everything maxed out what we're going to do is jump into the tuning section of this and just uh figure out we're off oh, 382 clicks. That is a nice max speed. That's going to be just fine for me. Um, then obviously uh, what we're going to do is leave the camber the way that it is just because uh, this isn't going to be a stanced out build. This is I want this thing to actually be functional. But what we're going to do is stiffen up our anti roll bars and obviously jump in here to the spring section. Stiffen this bad boy up and slam this motherfucker to the ground man uh let's see here what else do we got here arrow differential want to have that acceleration at the highest point and then that's about it man so that thing is looking pretty dope what we're gonna do is back it on up here check out some designs and paints now specifically i just would like to um maybe tint up those windows so let's go ahead and do that right now with some black tint now to be honest i'm liking the color of those wheels um yeah so i don't really think we're gonna touch anything else this is just gonna be a nice subtle build maxed out and uh not too ricey so let's save that to the current car back it on up here and see how this thing sounds and performs with the mods that we have done to it so 
while we're waiting for this to load up um you know if you guys have any requests we are caught up with our requests so if you do have requests drop them down in the comments section and i will do my best to get that request out as soon as possible um if you guys are on forza horizon 2 forza 6 grand theft auto for the xbox one uh, make sure you add my gamer tag at d-o-n-s-q-u-a-l-e and um yeah man this thing actually looks like a corvette with those with those lights up in that in that hood man i gotta say this thing is uh this rx7 is the jdm uh you know muscle car in my opinion even though it is the uh, the rotary engine these things just have that look that feel to them oh man no dirt roads for squally back it on up there what the hell's in there i don't know Oh, watch out for that wool! Let's take it for a rip. Woo! Now, a little bit of tur turbo lag. What I'm going to do is just drop her into third gear. And you can see right around seven grand, that turbo actually kicks in. So anything less than that, not too much power. Now, the things with these RX-7s is the rotary engine love to be redlined man they they really don't like um being at low rpms i find that you know from what i've heard man rx7 and rx8 owners tell me that you need to redline the car at least uh once a week uh just to keep everything moving properly now whether that is true or not i don't know but i do know that these cars will call what are you doing like forza can we fix these drive atars, please jesus man um but yeah from what i understand that these cars require constant maintenance and uh you know you got to always be checking those oil levels oh that rain's getting us a little carried away get out the way sucker ah! um so yeah constant maintenance always got to look out for those oil levels and from my understanding man um engine swaps are pretty much as common as let's say changing brake pads on these cars man which is unfortunate because they are such great cars when they are running good this thing no exception man nice drifting here in the rain keeping those rear wheels just a honing man ah that would have been death count number one for the car right there um for sure we would have been going to the scrapyard with this one asap after hitting that tree sideways but luckily this is the game now, if you guys want to check out my real life channel, um, I haven't advertised my real life channel on this channel in a while. It's youtube.com slash Denali, D-N-A-L-I, and that's got all of my, uh, basically my real, real world videos of me and my actual car, um, install videos, race videos, and things of that nature. So, um, yeah, make sure that you go and check that out if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Um, but with that being said, this car is... A performer man like there's no question about it nice subtle build in the rain obviously easy to slide um, not lacking too much grip surprisingly I was gonna I was thinking in my head if we need uh, more grip we can always widen up those tires but oh my god these like I I just don't know I just don't know what to say you know Forza can we get some drive atars that actually have a brain uh, you don't know how many times I'll be driving and there will be just a drive guitar that comes and smashes head on into me. Like, bro, you're fucking up my video right now, dog. You know what I mean? Anyways, forget about all of that nonsense. We are going to pull off here and see if we can't find somewhere to take a nice little photograph of this beast. So you guys let me know what you thought of this build down in the comments, what you would have done different. Um... And yeah, like I say, any requests, let me know, man. Let's get a nice little shot of these mountains in the background and call this one a video. So once again, if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button or check out the channel and check out some of the playlists, man. We got everything pretty well organized nowadays. Um, 
with different games and uh you know if you guys do want to play with me no homo like i said add me up at d-o-n-s-q-u-a-l-e that's on uh xbox live i currently have the xbox one and uh same gamer tag on the playstation network i currently have the playstation 3 so with that being said we are gonna put an end to this video as usual i just want to say thank you guys for watching and uh shit, that's about it man we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one Peace.